Okay guys, it's been a little while since I've actually done a true to heart EDC video and since I figure it's been about time, or today would be a good time, to do another fun EDC video talking about three knives that are in my collection that are true keepers, knives that will never go away, and kind of explaining the reasons why. Now, without any further ado, let's jump into the top three. Okay, so we're going to start this off, or we're going to go from least to most expensive. And the first one is probably a knife that you guys haven't seen on the channel in a little while. This has actually been behind the scenes, and I do carry it occasionally. But this is a Browse Blades Silent Soldier V2 with a drop point blade to be specific. And this is a knife that is never gonna leave the collection for a couple reasons. First, like most of the knives that are never leaving my collection, it's a knife that I actually looked at and wanted to get for years. And they're not the easiest thing to come by. They were custom made by Browse, uh, you know, himself. And they were never made in high volume because Browse really doesn't do that, or Jason Browse really never did that. And so they've always been a little bit harder to come by. But what, the other reason why these, or the this guy will never leave my collection is just due to the fact of how interesting and unique the blade shape and blade is on this thing. I mean, when you look at it, you know, this thing has such a unique design to it, you know, just it has these finger holes and, you know, you put your hands like your hand like this, you know, it doesn't seem like it would have a really good traction, but it does actually grip up very well. It feels good in the hand and it's just such a tiny blade. I really love how this thing was designed and once again what you'll notice is a lot of unique and kind of harder to find or with two out of the three blades that are in my forever it's you know kind of unique and hard to find blades that have just captivated me for years and once again you know this one took me a few years to get granted it wasn't very expensive but like I said these things are just harder to find and I don't believe Browse makes these anymore because of some turmoil with SOG, because SOG originally collaborated to make the Snarl, and there were some legal issues with the Snarl and all that crap, and it was really unfortunate because SOG really ruined uh, a really great blade here. I mean, these uh, Silent Soldiers are really cool, and it's a shame that they aren't really more prevalent, and that SOG kind of stole the idea and made their, you know, kind of cheap knockoffs the Snarl, which, not to say that the Snarl is a bad knife per se, if you have one, they are just fine, but what I don't really like about the Snarl is the fact that it's basically just ripping off um, Browse's design and not really giving him credit for it. So, anyways, that is a Browse Blade Silent Soldier. This is what its little sheath looks like, and these are just awesome little neck knives. I mean, they're so great, they're so tiny, and while I don't always carry this one, I'm never going to get rid of it because of what it means to me. And and uh, just how unique it is, how rare it is, and really how cool it is. Uh, one thing that all the knives on this table on this show uh, have in common is, that, as Wrangler Star would say, they give me the fizz. Like, they, there's just a certain level of fun and joy that I get out of using each and every one of these knives, even if I don't use them every day. Okay, so the next one is probably the most common of all these knives. So the next one is the most common of all these knives, but this is a Microtech Ultratech, and this is kind of the one exception to the rule that while I may not have always this particular Ultratech, I'm always going to have an Ultratech in the collection. This is one style or kind of brand of knife that I'm never going to get rid of, and, you know, I've played with a lot of auto knives through the years, you know, button release, side open autos, uh, other OTFs and the Ultratech is just kind of the gold standard and it's a perfect size and it works very well for everyday carry tasks and it's just once again one of those knives that gives me the fizz every time I use it because it's a fun little knife to open and close and it still has a really high quality steel blade. The action is really nice, fairly smooth and overall this is just a, a fun knife to have in the collection, being what it is, and it kind of has a tactical-esque vibe. I like it a lot. Uh, once again, looking at the blade and looking at the overall just styling, these things are really classic and pretty stylish in my opinion. They're not necessarily revolutionary for what they are, but they are so really cool and definitely a part of the knife culture forever. 
Okay, so the last one, and I'm saving the best for last and the most expensive for last, is the Benchmade 630 Skirmish. And this is a knife that's never going to leave the collection ever because it's one, it took me years to find, and two, I've really loved this knife for a very long time. Before I really got into knives, this was one of the first knives that really captivated me because of not just its style, I mean, its style is certainly its style is certainly unique, but also the fact that they blended, you know, really high quality materials like titanium S30V uh, into such a stylish and unique blade shape. And these things are rare, they're different, especially for their time. You really didn't see much like this. I mean, it has very much Spider Co esque vibes to it because, you know, it has a thumb hole opener. It's followed up by several holes on the blade. You know, it also has holes on the handle. But uh, just everything about this knife, once again, gives me the fizz to use it, to open it, to play with it. Just to, just to have it overall is a real treat, and I, I really enjoy it. So, for those reasons, I'm never going to get rid of the skirmish. And in fact, I carry the skirmish a lot because I just love having it. I love playing with it. It is just a fun knife to have. Not to mention it's all also very utilitarian. So they not only made, you know, this very unique blade or this very unique, you know, overall knife, but they made it very functional. You know, this is a fairly thick piece of S30V blade steel. You know, this isn't something that's super fragile. It has a nice spear point tip to it. So this is one of those knives that, you know, while as beautiful as it is and as collectible as they are, you know, you can still get a lot of use out of these knives. They're very useful and very utilitarian blades. And so from the start, it was designed to be a very elegant, sleek, beautiful knife, but also a very useful knife. And that's what I love about how they blended this uh, skirmish together. So overall, a very awesome knife. And once again, makes number one because I've been looking for one of these for years, seriously, for about at least four, but I think five or six years I was trying to get one. And you know, they're not cheap, but they're a lot like the Browse Blades. You know, it's not so much the monetary thing that stood in the way, it's trying to find one and find one before it actually gets uh, bought up by someone else because these knives have a very dedicated fan base to them. And so while it's not a very large fan base, when people see a skirmish, they're just like, hit the buy button because they they want like every single skirmish in the collection so yeah anyways this is a 630 skirmish by Benchmade and this is my number one but going through the order it's a Browse Blade Silent Soldier, Microtech, Ultratech and the 630 skirmish. Anyways guys hopefully you've enjoyed this EDC video taking a look at three knives of that are not only my favorites, but are just something that give me a lot of joy to use. They're a lot of fun to have in the collection. And like I said, I really love having these three knives and they're never gonna get sold out. Anyways guys, that's all for now. God bless and I'm out.